the Portland Trailblazers swept the Oklahoma City Thunder four games to none in the 2017-2018 season. It was Portland's first ever season sweep of OKC. The Blazers did sweep the then Seattle Supersonics during the 2002-2003 season, win no. Three of the four game season series may have been the most entertaining one of all. And it continued a stretch of games during which the Blazers dominated the Thunder. Portland's 108-100 victory on March 3rd at the Moda Center was its fifth straight win over OKC, as well as the 11th win in its last 15 contests against the Thunder. In addition to its continuing mastery over the Thunder, Portland was also beating everybody else. This would be the sixth straight win for Portland, a streak that would eventually stretch to 13 games. And the Blazers were starting to put together complete games with dominating, shutdown defense when it counted most and an offense that was getting contributions from up and down the lineup. More from analysis in addition to their win over OKC, the Blazers had beaten the Golden State Warriors, the Utah Jazz and the Minnesota Timberwolves during their streak. And they were just getting started. Thunder Blazers, the Oklahoma City Thunder, 37-27, faced the Portland Trail Blazers, 36-26, on March 3rd having won three in a row in five of their last six. Russell Westbrook was the game's high scorer, 30 points, and leading rebounder, 11. But he was hounded into a horrid shooting night, 12 31sts field goals, by an active and relentless Blazers defense. In fact, Portland's defense held the Thunder to a 44% shooting night. The Blazers got solid minutes from their two usual suspects, CJ. McCollum, 28 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and Damian Lillard who struggled from the field, 5 18 but finished with 20 points and 7 assists. But they also got 17 points from Evan Turner, his third highest points total of the season. The final two starters, Yusuf Nurkic, 9 points, 7 rebounds, and Al Farouk Aminu, 3 points on 1 7 shooting, struggled mightily. But it was the bench that really shined in this one, especially young Zach Collins. Bench to the rescue, Collins, the 20-year-old rookie out of Gonzaga University, played one of his most complete games of the season. He scored 12 points on 5-6 shooting, including two halves from three. He also snared five rebounds and blocked two shots. His point total was his career high at the time, ultimately, it was his second highest scoring output of the season. In short, it was the kind of game that Rip City expects its young big man to achieve night in and night out. And it was almost certainly a glimpse toward a bright future for Collins. Shabazz Napier added 7 points. Pat Connaughton and Ed Davis both pitched in 6 points. Davis also grabbed 10 boards. And Portland's bench outscored their Thunder counterparts 31 to 22. But as we wrote at the time, the bench provided much more than just defense. In the end, it was Pat Connaughton, Ed Davis, and Zach Collins who really showed out. Connaughton played stellar defense against Paul George, while Davis and Collins manned the middle against an offensive rebound hunting Stephen Adams, combined, the three key reserves recorded 24 points, 19 rebounds, 2 steals and 4 blocks. It was another win against the Thunder. It meant Portland had a solid lock on the third seed in the West. And it was another coming out party of sorts for young Zach Collins. All in all, one of the best wins of the season.